In today's quick video, we'll look at how you can cut text out of an object. You can start with text like this and turn it into this. I opened up this image in Infinity Photo and I want to create a design where some text is transparent. So I'm going to select the artistic text tool here. That's this tool over here. You may see it listed as the frame text tool, which is this icon here. If you see that, just click and hold on it and then select artistic text. So with my text tool selected, I'll click and drag on my canvas and I'll add a word, transparent. Now the color doesn't matter. I'm just doing it so it's easy to see. And I want to cut it out of a shape. So I'll select my rectangle tool here. Again, you may see another shape here. If so, click and hold and you'll see a list of the shapes and one of them will be rectangle. So I'll choose rectangle and I want it to be white. And I'll drag it to be the right size. Now in my layers panel, I'll select my text layer and I'll drag it above the rectangle. And if we want, we can select both of these layers and I can click my alignment tools up here and I can center them. I'll align center. I'll click apply. Now I want this word to be cut out of the rectangle. And to do that, we can use a blend mode. So with the text layer selected here, I'm going to click this drop down here, which are the blend modes. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm going to click erase. So I'll click erase. And now you can see the text is being cut out of the rectangle. But the problem is it's cutting out of our entire image. This checkerboard pattern means it's fully transparent. I just want the words to be cut out of the rectangle so I can see the landscape behind it. Well, there's an easy way to solve this problem. I'm just going to select my rectangle and my text again, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a group out of them. You can also press control G, but I'll click group. And now you can see we're getting the effect we want. If I expand my group here, when we have this text with the erase mode set, it's limited to things in this group. And right now only this rectangle is in the group. So we have our transparent text. And if I click the group, I can drag and move it around. I can resize it. I can also change the text. Click your artistic text tool again. You can select your word and then you can type in a new word. So it's a very flexible technique. If there's any tricks or tutorials you'd like to see, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.